Hey everyone, um, this is going to be a fun video because we are going to be talking about orgasms, that's right, and specifically the female orgasm, and maybe even the male orgasm as well. Orgasms, orgasms, orgasms. So this is going to be a video reply to Got That Funk's video about, oh, what was it again? Organisational skills? Organists? No, orgasms, that's right, I remember now. Now, um, a lot of you may find this quite shocking, but I haven't really had that much experience with women. Um, before the relationship that I'm currently in now, I have only ever had one girlfriend. But uh, nevertheless, uh, trying to make the uh, the women that I'm with feel good has always has always been very important to me. Um, not just in bed, but uh, otherwise as well. I like to make them feel you know wanted and special, and you know I want to want to make them feel good, feel protected. Um, that's just that's just the kind of person that I am. You know I like them to feel uh, as good as they make me feel good. You know so uh, that's that. On the, the, the specific topic of female orgasms, um, they've always, it's always been a very real thing for me. You know, it's never been like a mythical concept that only existed in porn films and you know erotic novels. Uh, it's, it's always been a, a, a very real thing, and you know, I just assumed that women had them. You know, uh, I, I have orgasms and men have orgasms, so uh, orgasms. So why wouldn't women? You know, it just it just didn't make sense. It just you know made sense to assume that they do, and and that's it. And just get on with things. So let's go on with uh, Got That Funk's questions and you know see if we can make a good video out of this. The first question he asked was how important is it to you that your partner has an orgasm? Now if you've been watching this video up until this point and really you must have because you know you, you wouldn't know where this point was in this video and unless you watched it. But anyway, um, you would probably guess that my answer is very and to you know extrapolate on that a little bit um, I, I view sex as a very sort of symbiotic thing. It's about uh, both parties enjoying each other and exploring your bodies and, you know, trying to, you know, maybe don't have to reach an orgasm, but just enjoying each other and, you know, feeling connected to someone. And that's one of the, one of the reasons why I could never be with a prostitute. Now, if you've watched, you know, uh, some of my videos before, you know where I stand on that. You know, I think it should be legalized. But I would just never partake in the services of a sex worker because I could just, I could not be with a woman who uh, doesn't want to be with me, you know, uh, I'd rather be alone, to be honest, I'd rather go without sex. Um, to me it's just like an expensive wank, but instead you're using a woman instead of your hand. Um, and, you know, if, if, you know, if, a, if I'm going to have sex with a woman, then it, it has to be because she wants to have sex with me as well. It has to be, like I said, it's like a symbiotic thing, you know, it has to be the, the two of us, you know, uh, joined together and you know wanting to make each other feel good um, now I, I know I shouldn't feel like a woman has to have an orgasm because you know men and women are different and you know women women could have a good sex life without having an orgasm uh, but you know because of my own bias because I am a male and because it does feel so good when I have an orgasm I just want them to feel the the same way I do and you know it, probably, it speaks of a certain naivety, but you know, as I said, I, I haven't had that much experience, and you know, if they if they don't have an orgasm, I do feel a little bit, a little bit deflated because, you know, I want them to feel as good as they make me, as I as I, I said before. But, you know, I, I really I really shouldn't feel that way, and hopefully, once I get more experience, you know, I, I, I'll feel different. But there there we go. Uh, second question: uh, How much effort are you willing to put in? Um, a lot, you know, um, it's really, I probably even put their needs above mine when it comes to sex, um, I could, I could probably come, you know, uh, sooner than, you know, than it would take them to have an orgasm, but, you know, I, I, I'm enjoying sex, and, you know, I, I want them, to, I want to try and get them to have an orgasm, um, and, you know, it's probably the reason why I like oral sex as well, because, um, not just, like, you know, receiving, but giving it as well, not saying I don't like the receiving thing because that can be pretty damn fantastic, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Um, but I know how how awesome oral sex feels, and so I want to try and you know replicate that with 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 the woman, and you know I want to try and get good at it because I know that it it, it feels really good to the, my partner, and it's something that I want to get good at because I want to please them, you know. And it's 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 a, a very sexual thing as well because it, it's great to know that you are turning the person that you care about on, and that you know you you are in control. You know you you are making them feel 
you know, making them feel sexy and turned on, and that's a turn on for for you know for you. Because I said it's it's a very sort of symbiotic thing. And if you're, if you know, I get turned on knowing that you know the woman I'm with is getting turned on. I'm not making very very much sense here. I'm being a bit a bit rambly, so I apologise for that. Uh, the third question: uh, Does it matter more to you if you are in a loving relationship? Um, probably, I, I think so. Um, if I have that sort of emotional connectivity with someone, then I would probably want to uh, please them more than if I was having like a one night one night stand or something. But even um, maybe I wouldn't have uh, oral sex with someone if I was you know a one night stand or something. But I would still want them to have a, a, a very good experience because I would be having a good experience, so I would want them to have one as well. Um, last question is, has the issue of the female orgasm ever been an area of contention in your sex life? And um, I have to say no. The My ex-partner um, uh, used to have orgasms with me, and, uh, you know, even though it wasn't uh, through sex, not because she didn't have when we had sex, just that she wasn't ready, and so, you know, I, I respected that. I still gave her orgasms through uh, you know, other means, and um, you know I felt good with myself, and I felt you know she she liked them, and I like giving them to her. So you know it's never been an area of contention. If I went through a whole relationship and she never had an orgasm, um, then I probably I probably would feel a bit bad. But if she was the the kind of woman that didn't have to uh, have orgasms in order to enjoy sex and enjoy my company, then then it would be all right. It would just be if you know, the, the woman kind of wanted to have an orgasm and I couldn't give them to her, that's when I would feel bad and in which case, I would probably do whatever I could to try and make sure that you know, that, that she got off so there's my incredibly boring rambly ass video, I, I do apologise for everyone who's watching this, I didn't really make much sense um, so, you know, I hope I hope at least some of you enjoyed it and, um, yeah, that's all I have to say cheerio